every parent with a child with disabilities, you kind of go through your own story and through your own way of life. He had some severe delays in that he was at the age of six months, only meeting the milestones of a two month old. Like how he progresses without these medications. Finally got the diagnosis that it was AADC deficiency. And that was at 10 months old? Yes, about 10 months old. We immediately joined the AADC parents group and it was so beneficial because we could just reach out whenever we had questions. It was always good to have someone there who understood what you were going through. Claudia, she just went into like hyper mode and reaching out, getting signed up for everything, volunteering for uh, the national study. And she has been Boston's biggest advocate through everything because she was bound to determine like we're going to do whatever it takes to get him to where where he can live a semi-normal life. I think we're seven weeks post-surgery, I believe. We are forever grateful for those doctors and Dr. Bankwich and his team and for all the doctors who continue to work with Boston and all the therapists and all, you know, everything that, everyone, nurses, anyone that's working with Boston, like from this point forward, it's just They're impacting his yes. life more than they know. Yes. Our identity is formed to Boston's parents and we're perfectly fine with that because he, yeah. He's everyone's hero. I mean, there everyone tells us all the time like he is the strongest little fighter ever and it just makes me proud as a dad. I know mm -hmm. you as a mom just knowing how many hearts he's touched because yes. everything he's been through and this kid still throws the biggest smile you've ever seen. I mean, it's like how. <laughs> he's a miracle and we're just so grateful to like be a part of this journey with him. We have a treatment option for Boston, but there's many that don't have that yet. But science is amazing. Yeah. And that's a big thing is to stay hopeful for what's to come. I wish that every parent of a child with AADC knew about the gene therapy. You know, we would do anything for this kid and, um, and for his quality of life to improve. There's nothing holding Boston back. It's as, it's as far as he wants to go. We're looking forward to all the other milestones.